Bye. Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> We'll put some music on. Well, not commercials, but we still have commercials. Wow. Cool. Okay. Got some new stuff for you guys today. All right. All right. I'll be right back. All right, hello, I'm Miss Arielle Mitchell from uh, Music in Motion, and this is our St. Patrick's Day edition, uh, well, or class for today. Uh, welcome to our online classroom. So uh, today we're gonna be doing Acro 2, and it's gonna be uh, fused with a little bit of advanced yoga, just so you guys can uh, practice at home. Also, we're going to be using weights, but if you do not have weights with you today, I will give you some alternative conditioning. Alrighty, let's get started. Alright, we're going to start with our right leg line.
and straighten up. Bend the back leg, flex the front foot. Go back into that lunge. Back knee on the ground and grab that back toe. And slide into your split. Rotate to the other side. Left leg lunge. Straighten all the way up. Bend the back leg, flex the front foot. Back into that lunge. Knee goes on the ground. Grab that back toe. Slide into the split. Rotate through the middle. Knees are up towards the ceiling. And come on out of it. All right, before we uh, continue our after lesson, we're going to go over some safety. Just make sure that you have asked permission to do your after class today and you have moved all the furniture out of the way. Have a nice, safe Space. If you're outside, make sure you clear the way of rocks and sticks. And um, <laughs> make sure you ask your kids before doing after. Always start with a stretch, and we're going to start with our wrist stretch. So we flex one up, flex one down, and switch. Switch. And turn them in side to side. And small rotations. And big rotations to the right. And reverse to the left. And turn them out, side to side. Flex one palm, pull it back. Flex the other palm, pull it down. Switch to the left. Pull your wrists out. Reverse. All right, we're going to start with a little bit of conditioning. So we have our weights. So we're going to do our plank extensions. You go up into your straight arm plank. Pull in, extend down the leg, pull it back, and switch. 
we do 20 of these. If you do not have weight, you can go into your straight arm plank for eight seconds. Then turn on the side, side plank passe for eight seconds. Five, six, seven, eight, back to straight arm plank. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn to the other side, passe. Six, seven, eight, and continue. Alrighty, next, we're going to continue our conditioning. We're going to do some squat curtsy. Squat and curtsy, 20 squat curtsy. Leprechaun position, and we're 
we're going to walk in a circle. On your mark, get set, and go. Keep in your tuck position. And then we're going to walk in a circle and go around the other way. Woo. Very good. All right, now that we have warmed up our tuck, we are going to do some tuck jumps. We're going to do 10 tuck jumps. Five, six, seven, eight, and one. And two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Very good. All right. Next, we're going to do our bridges. We're going to do our bridges and our limbers over the plank hop hop hop. All right, we're going to do four of them. Now we're going to do some new bridges. All right, on your mark, get set and go. And rock and candlestick. Candlestick up. Touch your toe behind your head. Cloud stretch. Grab your toes. Candlestick up. Roll down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Second set of limbers. Five, six, seven, eight, and up. Rock and candlestick. Third set of limbers. All righty. Back handspring position. And I want you to try to limber from back handspring position. Good job. All righty, last set of limbers. One, two, three, bridge up. Very good. Okie dokie. Next, we're going to do a bridge. It's going to be back handspring position. So then we're going to go down to our elbows and rock in that back handspring position. Really open your shoulders. So you go from the bridge. 
Breathe in. And breathe out, reach forward. All right, next we're gonna go into some elbow TikTok. I find it best if you make your hands a triangle. Always put tension on the mat. And kick into your elbow TikTok. So you have four on the right, four on the left. Stretch those knees. Stretch up, stretch up. Okie dokie. Next, we're going to do some squat step together. So we're going to go from side to side, 20 squat step together. So we want to do both turned in, turned out, since you guys are diverse dancers. So we are going to turn in for these squats. You can really squat down like you're going to sit on a chair. If you have weights, make sure there are tension on the weights. You're pushing the weights together. Very good. We're going to move on to our handstand portion. So we are going to do handstand straight jaw. Number one rule of handstands before we start. If you feel like you're falling out of your handstand, then you must tuck and roll so we can touch our chin to our collarbone to secure the neck whenever falling out of any um, acro trick or stunt. All right, we're going to start with our right leg lunge. You're going to do handstand, arm circle, hollow. So you're going to do your handstand. Step together, back arm circle, hollow. So let's try it again. Step together, back arm circle, hollow. All right, we're doing eight on the right, eight on the left. Five, six, seven, eight, and one. Lunge and two. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven, and eight. Jump and switch your lunge. Left side lunge. Five, six, seven, eight, and one. 
and lunge, two. And lunge, a three. Big jump, and four. And five. And six. And seven. And last one, eight. Go ahead and grab a sip of water. cartwheel reps. So you're going to have a cartwheel set together for your first rep um, with the arm circle hollow tuck rebound because we're working on our back hamstring and eventually we will be working on our back tucks. Um, so you're going to do your cartwheel set together, so it's still a cartwheel. Land together, arm circle, hollow, rebound. Make sure that you're working the right and the left leg. So we are evenly strong. All right, set up your lunge and get ready for cartwheel set together, arm circle, hollow, tuck, rebound. And five, six, seven, and eight. Here we go, all one. All right, grab a sip of water. All righty, next we will be working on round off, double tuck, rebound. From the lunge, making sure 
during the round off and cartwheel that we are having a tea. We're having a tea party with the leprechauns all day and all night today. So you're doing your tea into your cartwheel and tea into your round off. All righty, set up your lunge. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, and one. And one. And two. And two. another sip of water if you need it. All right, next we're going to bring it back down to the ground. And we're going to do some headstands. Now, if you don't have any mats at home, uh, this is an opportunity for you to use your carpet or use a yoga mat, um, because eventually in Afro, you will come off the mat. Um, so you want to be a little prepared for that. It feels different. It hurts a little bit more. All right, so we're going to go down onto the um, mat. Spread your fingers out. Have those on mat or ground. And you're going to take your legs into headstand.
Make sure to tuck and roll when you're falling out of your headstand. Also, adjusting your hands in your headstand. You can make them wide or you can adjust them um, and make them tinier. All right, let's try a right leg split headstand. Good job. All right, let's do some straddle up. So you start with headstand and straddle, and then you push your legs up to the sky. You put your heels together. All right, next, we're going to do a little bit more conditioning before our last reps. So we're going to take our weight, and we're going to do 20 jump lunges, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, to end our rest today, we're going to do some snatch up from the lunge. All right, on your mark, get set and one. And one. And two. And two. And three. And three. Four. And four. At the hurdle, five, six, seven, eight, and one. And one. And two. And two. And three. And three. And four. Last four.
All right, let's do some one-handers. So with your one-hander, hands are on hips, or it can be glued to the back. So I want that elbow on the back, the fingers wrapped around the side, okay? Squeeze that ear. Five, six, seven, eight, and one. A one, two, two, and three, and three. Wait, let's see, and four. Last one. Okay. Round up, snatch up. Only one cup for now. Pop it off the mat. Five, six, seven, eight, and one. And one. A two. Last one and four. All right, let's take it down to the mat. We got 30 mountain climbers almost there. Put it in between your hands. Five, six, seven, eight. And last one for our final stretch. Elbow jumping jacks. You have 30. Bottom down, shoulders over your elbow. Five, six, seven, eight. Bring that uh, 
Left hip forward. Reach down over. Head down to the mat. Back into your lunge. Slide into your split. Okay, other side. Left leg one. Bring the front leg forward. Square your hip. And reach forward. And go to the back. And back into your lunge. Slide into your stool. All righty, that's all we have time for today. I hope you had a great workout. I hope you have a great St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> All righty. Thank you so much, Addison, for coming in and joining us. Um, so you're going to get ahead of the girls by taking class at home. So um, have a great day. Stay safe. Wash your hands. And do your homework. <laughs> All right. Happy St. Patty's Day.